Right, now we've made our coils and we're ready to start building up our vessel. So what you're going to do is you need a variety of tools. Some people like to use forks. I have a regular wooden clay knife, have a needle tool, and I have a, a regular old um, kitchen butter knife. Okay, you might want to have next to you a, a spray bottle okay, with some water in it. And what I've made here is slip. And this helps kind of act like the glue between the layers. So you can, maybe you would like to use slip or water, okay. Then we have, um, back to our hand building, we're going to use, I, I'm going to use my fork to create some cross hatching marks along the base. I'm going around the perimeter of the base because that's where the coil is going to be. So I've kind of created some some nice marks there. I'm going to use a little bit of slip. It's the majority of this is water and it gets a better consistency the the longer it sits. So I'm going to use some slip and just kind of run my finger across can start to see it kind of getting wet. Maybe I'll add a little bit of water too. Okay, and then now I'm going to take my coil and I'm going to add the score marks on there too, some cross hatching marks on there. Okay, so we're just going to kind of do that. Add some water. That way it helps it stick. And then we're just going to get our coil and press it into the score marks okay and all the way around so uh oh it doesn't continue so that's okay we can get another coil and let's kind of measure the length we're going to need and somewhere right about there okay we already have our score marks where it's going to be so let's add some on the coil a little bit of water and we're going to be pressing down into the clay, okay? Making sure that you get the, the score marks are touching. It kind of is like Velcro, okay? Now what I'm doing is I am smoothing the area where the clay has connected. This will also help the walls become stronger. just to where it's kind of smoothed on the inside. Okay, now I'm gonna take my second coil and you just start building up to create a cylinder. Don't put too much water because then it'll get flimsy. I'm going to use this one because it's a smaller one. It's important to smooth it out because, again, that also helps the sh walls become stronger. Um, you don't just want to leave it there, okay? This is helping the clay from one wall become one with clay from the previous coil. So you're building a nice wall all the way up. Okay, now I have some coils that I've made that are in here. Score, water, and you can cut, maybe spray it first if you want.
If that ha if that seems to happen, you can get a little bit of clay. This is what I do. I just get a little bit of clay and kind of meld it, what uh, weld it together. I know it's not really welding, but kind of smooth it together. I'm also I like to brace it with one hand as I'm smoothing it because if you continue to do that without bracing it, the clay will continue to move out, out. But if you have your hand bracing it there, it helps the form stay intact without using the clay. Okay. So we have a nice base here. You can come around and look. Oh, I don't, there's some score marks you can smooth out. You want to work around because this is three dimensional. So we're, you need to make sure all sides look nice. Okay, so I've started, if I just continued building my coils up, 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 I would get a, a cylinder, okay? Now, what I've done for the Greek vase, though, is I changed the position or the angle in which I put the coils. So, down here, we're on, we're on the bottom part right here, okay? So, now what I would do with some other coils is start to position them where they're kind of at an angle coming out, uh, like an obtuse angle. Then I would start bringing it up again, and maybe once it gets several coils, what is that, about four or five? Then I would start bringing the coils in, positioning the coils on the inner side. So the angles where you hand build it um, can make the symmetrical form. So... I hope you've learned something today and remember to always score and add water between your layers of coiling.